Hi, my name's Ollie, uh, so I'm going to do a quick run through of how I created Closet Case. So, um, this was an initial sketch as I usually do. This is Lionel and his hot date, Tracy. Um, I coloured them in, as you can see here, it's kind of um, made Lionel look a bit hot and flustered because he is about to embrace uh, with uh, his first kiss with Tracy, although he really actually doesn't want to because he wants to be kissing another guy called Emil. Um, I also uh, added in this detail here which is of Tracy's earrings. Look, it actually describes her as having these Lego block um, studded style um, brick earrings so I just thought I'd try and add those in. I um, also did Emil uh, because he is in the back of Lionel's mind and um, with him I also wanted to make him look more uh, stronger and solid uh, by adding in it, uh, a kind of almost stone-like quality to him with these uh, thicker marks. Uh, so that's why I incorporated him. I then built up Emil so that uh, to give, uh, give more references to his heritage and background because he uh, is Romanian um, and he's a bit of an activist, a political activist uh, over in the, in the States and um, it has various conversations with both Lionel and Lionel's friend Yolanda um, so I just wanted to capture a, a, an element of that whilst bringing him into the back of Lionel's mind. So then uh, I've grouped them all together so that there was a kind of uh, triangular formation between them because I wanted it to represent a bit of the lo love triangle so um, in terms of this is where Lionel is but his head and heart is almost going up towards this aspiration of the idea of a meal. Um, uh, and then because of that I was bringing in what various t tensions there are so when it um, came to creating this image uh, which is the, where it kind of finally got to add in, in a lot of other um, textual elements to give different feelings and nuances and I think something that I've been developing or learning through this process is really trying to concentrate on those uh, the background of thoughts and feelings and trying to create layers of that in the imagery so uh, counter to their triangle position, I have the pink triangle, which is kind of a nod to um, gay history in terms of Nazism um, attaching pink triangles to uh, homosexuals before they were taken off to concentration camps. And um, it's just that almost like a, a warning sign or um, something that Lionel is hesitant about. Here I have got the barbed wire, if you can move it around to make it easier to see, uh, which is just in the background behind Emil, um, and that's as he, um, he is uh, a danger and warning, but also even further in the distance, which is quite small and tiny, I have this uh, spearhead, and that is because in the latter part of the story, so in the background there is um, the spear, which um, is a representation of well, the ending scenes when uh, Lionel is confronted by the protagonist, Bob, who uh, is Yolanda's boyfriend and uh, threatens everyone with this spear. It's also kind of a, a nod to how he should be acting, uh, more masculine and scary, and uh, generally all the things that he's not but isn't able to achieve. and it's. It's there as a background kind of warning. And uh, in terms of Tracy, I've made her blind, which I kind of described um, before in the other video, and that's because she's just really into Lionel and thinks he's lovely. And um, for um, Lionel himself, I've got him gagged because he's not able to truly express himself, to think of himself. And that actually came from this image here. Um, oh, <laughs> I've had some fetish outfit, which are then cropped and uh, attached into Lionel. I'd have to rejig the whole position of his jawline and stuff. Um, but that was quite a lot of fun, and I'm wanting to play on more of that type of element where I'm mixing my own images with found images uh, and blurring them together to produce new images. Also behind Lionel as well, I've got all these kind of splatterings and that's because he's bubbling and he's nervous and it's the same with Tracy's hand. It's 
almost a uh, representative of the barbed wire in the way it's encased around her because his touch is almost kind of a, a, a shock to him and it and drums up all these um, feelings of him trying to want to have desire for her but not actually having desire with her. I also wanted to share this image as well because I'm, I'm still, I'm, I don't know what I feel about this. Um, so because it's closet case, I actually went and found a closet which I, I could encase them in. And I'm still wondering what I'm going to be doing when I actually come to printing this off and working into it into material. I may go back to this one and do it this way round. I'm still just not sure. But so that's encased or not encased. Um, so if you want to share your thoughts on if you like him being encased or not, let me know. It'd be interesting. I might actually just print the pair of them off when it comes to turning it into um, a, a larger image and then just make a decision at that point. Okay. That's it for me on this one. Um, I hope that making you want to create your own images, please do. I've now been loading up a few different images each day on the Facebook page, so hopefully you can check out some other people's fan artwork. Otherwise, just send links to other images or books that you like. It would be great to keep sharing and building this up. Um, I get that this is uh, the beginning of a long journey, uh, but I hope you want to uh, play and join.